name is Brandon Scott. A lot of you probably recognize me though by my professional name. It's written on marquees all over Las Vegas. Lobster 1195. Hello, that's me. Okay. Yes, I like to travel everywhere I go and collect things which I'd like to share with you right now. I like this, but I don't know whether I should have worn this. Does this go with what I'm wearing? No. The ladies say no. The guys go, eh. If you ever in a rush trying to get dressed, this is what you do. Everybody say CBS. One, two, three. CBS. CBS. Do, 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 do. Everybody. Do, 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 do. Now in Spanish. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Indeed, a bilingual show. I, um, I go all over the world. I, I travel to France and Rome and Pomona, everywhere. <laughs> And uh, I was in Italy, you know, Italian people, any Italian folks here today? Yeah. All right. We have a beautiful language, Italian people must speak with their hands. Tatuccini, maserati, spaghetti. <laughs> Cannot speak unless they use their hands. I was lost in Rome. And I, I was looking for the Colosseum and this guy was carrying a whole bunch of bread. And I went up to him, I go, where's the Colosseum? He couldn't even answer me. <laughs> he had to put the bread down and go. <laughs> And he had a whole bunch of uh, stuff in his bag that I, that I ended up buying. Um, he said this would look good on me. What do you think? No. I agree. Oh. Mm -hmm. But this is special. This is an entire opera and an omelet maker. I'll show you how you can make an omelet in a very magical way, in a very operatic way. I, I normally have an entire opera choir. They didn't show up today. Would you be my choir? Yeah, yeah. All you have to do, everybody, it's a song, it's real easy. It goes, ha ha. Let me hear you. Let me hear this side. You'll know when to come in. Here we go. Ooh, you know the song. All right. Hiena ha ha. Ha ha. Ah, oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, thank you very much, the uh, omelet. I went to India, and in India, one of the most ancient places where magic started, do you know that there's a song that we grew up learning that is really magical, and we, we know it all? All of us know it, but we forgot it, and it actually can hypnotize things. Remember what it is? It goes, da-da-da-da, everybody, da-da-da-da. All the cell phones, da 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 Yeah, if you have your cell phones, go ahead and turn them off. Turn off your cell phones, if you please. And no flash photography, by the way, during, and no videotapes during the presentation of this or any of the things, because that's the way it is. But now, let's see how magical everybody is, okay? I need your help, okay? Let me go, da 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 We're going to try to hypnotize this inanimate rope. Da 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 A little louder, da 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 Da, 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 da. We did it! <laughs> no, we did it. Yeah. We did it. Ooh, ah. Now everybody say, ha ha. It's done. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are great. All right. Yes. Very quickly, I'm going to test you because the magic you're about to see, we are from the Magic Castle. Everybody know the Magic Castle? Yeah. We're so happy to be celebrating here again. We've been here for several years uh, on behalf of uh, CBS Studio City and Olive Crest to be here uh, doing our magic show. And uh, I'll show you the very basics of magic. Okay. I will take this bottle, watch very carefully, and just by concentrating, I will make it fly from this bag and appear in your bag, my lady, sitting on the front. All right, what's your name? Barbara. Bar. <laughs> Look into my eyes, Bar. Everybody, Bar. Watch from here. 
into your bag. Watch one, who two. Now the most difficult thing to do in magic, go ahead and check that it's there, is to make things go backwards. Hurry up, three, two, one, it's back. <laughs> now I defy gravity, ha <laughs> ha. Yes. <laughs> this is kind of silly, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Now, I would like to share with you a, a quick goodbye in a magical way. I will use some water which comes from the beach, from the ocean. Yeah. It's in the glass which is made of sand, yes. And I'll teach you the premise of magic as I take a piece of wood that comes from a tree. And I take the water which is in sand. Now, Here's the trick. The molecules at a subatomic level of sand and paper, of wood, the paper, the glass, they don't know that they are anything else but sand and wood. Water is very confused. And if I pour it into the paper, it thinks it's going into wood. And yet, in that moment of confusion, it ceases to exist, not knowing what identity to have. And so, one suspended into that moment, magicians, alchemists, and some scientists will take advantage of that, think, and affect the molecules of such, and give it an identity. In this case, I'm a little bit thirsty, and I think I would like some Kool-Aid, yes. Voila! Welcome to a celebration, yes! Thank you very much. Would you be so kind, sir, to... Uh, Yes, I can uh, invite you. This is Ray. He's helping us produce the show from the Magic Castle. Let's give a big round of applause. Yes. The following performers, they've performed for the Queen of England. Yeah. And they've performed for the President of the United States. As a matter of fact, they're starring in an American celebration at Ford's Theater tonight at 10 o'clock on ABC. So after tonight you can go home and see them on television, a very special special. But today at this very moment you're very lucky. They're right here for you. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to present on behalf of the Magic Castle here for this celebration, the Pendragons! Yeah! yeah. 